standing of all. Manos, ladies. And do that one again, my lords, ladies, gentlemen, and those who have not quite made up their mind. Good evening! Good evening. You know you're going to have to do better than that. Good evening! Good evening! And welcome to this cavern of conviviality, this emporium of entertainment, this memorial hall of merriment, where we once again have scoured the four corners of the Queen's Head the plough, and let's not forget odd fellows in Tonington. And I don't mean the name of the bar. Ah, yes, ladies and gentlemen, we have gathered a pageant, nay, a plethora, nay, a panoply of performers who are poised to present a series of sparkling and salubrious shaders, scintillating solos, Ooh. stylishly sequestered into a sophisticated symposium. And I'm sorry if I scratched the front. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, it's going to be a grand night. But first, let me introduce myself. My name is Mr. Philip Parry. No, don't bother to stand, just nod. And it is my dubious honour to be your chairman for this evening. I'll always wear it. Actually, I am working at a, at a grave disadvantage this evening. Uh, I'm sober, unlike the cast. I would also like to introduce you to the man who will be spending the entire evening hunched over his magnificent upright. Yes, it's the man who eats music, sleeps music, lives music. Unfortunately, can't play music. He's known as the Van Gogh of the piano because he's got no ear. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, play the white notes, the black notes, and the cracks in between. Please welcome our maestro, Mr. Brent Will. <laughs> Mr. Brent will, of course, be accompanying and sometimes overtaking the cast. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, he'll be uh, tickling his ivories and anything else within reach. Okay, now, for those aficionados of the musical, you will know that we expect, let me entreat, let me implore you to applaud the efforts of the artists. Now, we're going to have a bit of practice, so I want you to use your imagination and imagine that you have seen a magnificent performance. <laughs> Believe me, after last night's performance, you're going to have to use your imagination. <laughs> and on the count of three, I want you to cheer, to bang the table, to, to clap, and maybe stamp the, uh, the floor. Uh, actually, you do have a cockroach problem, as it might be else, although fortunately most of them are out in the kitchen. So on the count of three, let's raise the roof. It doesn't belong to us. One, two, three. Right now, imagine you've seen the villain of the piece. Imagine you've seen something surprising. A gasp. And then finally we'll end with a cheer. So imagine that the hero has defeated the villain or that Chris, uh, this Chris McDonough has remembered all the words to a song. One, three, one, two, three. Right, we also implore you to join in the choruses, and so we need to warm up our voices. So the people on this side, <coughs> you need to look at number one in your shoulder and song sheets. Like to lift your song sheets, wait then, yeah. Helps with the air uh, Okay, you're going to sing Pack Up Your Troubles. This half, you're going to sing number two, which is a long way to do a record. So to start with this half, over, over here first of all, be ready, my friend.
will introduce you to one of our class members, Mr. Ted Green. Hey. 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 Right, so people on this side are waiting to Ferrari. People on this side, we are going to sing Pack Up Your Troubles. Are you ready, Maestro? One, two, three. It's <laughs> 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 